Hello friends, today's detail is going to be a treat for those of you who like to see a mess. That is exactly what this is. This is a 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan. And watch this, it is gag me gross. Ugh. So this might look like a lot of trash, but this was nothing compared to what I was pulling out from underneath the seats. It was there for a very long time, and anytime somebody would get in, rather than pick the trash up, it would be kicked underneath seats or in the stowaway boxes. It was unbelievable. It literally took me 45 minutes to clean up the trash, just the trash. So I know you have heard me say before that I would never judge another person by how bad their vehicle gets because we all get busy, things get missed, and before you know it, the car is a mess. We get it, but this is not what I'm talking about. This is pure filth. It is not safe to have all of this in a vehicle 
when you are trying to operate a vehicle. Not to mention the bacteria and germs that were hiding in this minivan that I, I just don't have any words. I just really do not have any words. If there was ever a detail that made me contemplate quitting before I even reached my third month, this would have been the vehicle. I was extremely frustrated. I was vacuuming. The dog hair was not coming up hardly at all. Whenever you scooted the crevice tool across there, you could see the sand jump out at you. It was it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. And it made it very frustrating to the point I literally had to stop vacuuming and start going to the dash and the, and the driver's area and start cleaning those because I was getting so upset with it. So do you see what I did here? I had reached my limit with this carpet. So I put the hose in the other side of the shop vac and I just started blowing. I didn't know what else to do at that point. If you look at the nooks and crannies, there was so much dirt and filth stuck in there. I couldn't get it out. It was, I, I yeah, I don't even have any words. All I can tell you is I had no choice but to just start blowing. And it started to make a difference. It really did. So I went that route. But when you come to those places where you're not making a difference, that's when you have to just walk away, especially underneath the driver's seat and the passenger seat. That was a losing game from the get-go. And here I go. I got so fed up and frustrated with the carpet. Uh, my vacuuming was getting me nowhere. I was not making a difference. The dog hair was so bad and it was caked in, embedded, stuck, you name it. It was so bad. I had no choice but to start cleaning the front cockpit and the dash. And uh, even though I didn't have the steamer out, which is really what I should have had, uh, I was able to calm myself down and then go back to it.
So here is what the minivan looks like at the end of four hours on day one. Uh, I, I, I just didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. Every time I would vacuum, it would not make a difference. Uh, I was still finding dirt. I still couldn't get all the dirt where it needed to come out, you know, along the seats and all of that. It was crazy. Here in just a second, you're gonna see how frustrated I was. I, was, I had the camera rolling and didn't realize it and it caught it. So I thought, this needs to go in the video because everybody needs to see how frustrating these things can be. So this begins day two. I spent the night before doing some research, watching some videos. How can I deal with these carpets? I got lots of ideas. Um, and so I just kind of put together the best plan of attack that I could. Now these panels on both sides were disgusting. It was, I, I dug stuff out with my fingers. This is also both panels had wads of gum in them. The only way that's coming out is with the steamer. There's just no other way. So I just kept going at it. And the drill brush, that's gonna come in handy here in just a little bit.
So here is where I learn if I have the ability to run one tool in one hand and another tool in another hand. And today, I had to do that. When I did my research on the pet hair, the best way to get a majority out of it when you do not have like lily brushes and things like that is with a drill brush and an air compressor. Well, I don't have an air compressor, so I used the blower side of the shop vac and it made a huge difference, big time. In fact, I think I probably got 90% of the pet hair out. Well, I am almost, almost, almost to the finish line. Now it's time to stage the vehicle and start touching up, and getting it ready so that it can go on the line as soon as all of the repairs and uh, all that is done. Vacuuming is 60 to 70% of your job as a detailer. It, it's going to make the biggest difference. So, I know that sounds ridiculous to a lot of people, but it's not ridiculous. It is the facts. And it's very difficult to be a detailer and then be a detailer at a used car lot because the two are very, very different. The expectations are very different. And so is the pay. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just close it off be done with it. I hope that in my frustration that I was able to get some good before and after pictures. Uh, I don't think the car turned out that bad. It could have been much worse, but it actually came out pretty well. If you'll take a minute to like and comment and subscribe, I would love to have you. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend.